Hi, this is Zach Mir from Zach's Traders Cafe with a look at the major markets on Tuesday the 10th of May. Starting off with the FTSE 100 and it's been not uh, too pleasant over the last couple of sessions with the hammer candle for uh, Friday, uh, giving hope that we're going to go up and then the fader at the 200 day moving average of 61.97 and a gravestone doji type candle, which is the opposite. So basically at the moment we're looking at a possible um, rising wedge reversal to the downside, especially while there's no end of day close. Back below, uh, back above rather the 6197 uh, level. On to uh, the DAX and uh, here uh, slightly mixed as well in the sense that uh, we had uh, quite a sharp uh, rise uh, in the wake of the uh, non-farm payrolls on Saturday on Friday rather uh, that found the floor of this rising trend channel from um, from the end of January. Um, some progress here and an end of day close above the 50-day uh, moving average at 99.22, but we really need to hold that in order to target the 200-day moving average level at 10,200. Noticeable also that the RSI is at 48, or just under 49, so still uh, on the wrong side of neutral, which means that we still have the risk of uh, this market topping out in a glancing blow at the 200-day moving average over the last few weeks. On to the U.S. markets, and um, here it's uh, the case, I suppose, more of a consolidation. 50-day uh, moving average, 17,565 for the Dow, and we're holding that at the moment. Uh, 17,500 is the floor of this rising trend channel from January, and while we're above that on an end-of-day close basis, looking for uh, 18,500 as a best-case scenario target. But cautious on the upside uh, scenario, or the upside uh, for this market, uh, 17,803 at the 10-day moving average would be the initial buy trigger, so wait for that to be activated onto the S&P and uh, obviously as you'd expect similar position to the Dow um, the only difference here I suppose is that uh, we've got um, the 2050 zone as the uh, potential support rather than uh, the uh, 17,500 level um, 50 day moving average at 2041 that's the blue line there and while we're above that we're buying on dips rather than selling into strength uh, once again, if you're cautious on this market, wait for an end-of-day close above the 10-day moving average at 2069 before pressing the buy button. But obviously, it is interesting that uh, any time we've questioned the market in the recent past, it has always erred on the upside rather than the downside. So this may be just a trick to try and lure in more shorts for U.S. stocks. Uh, on to uh, the Nasdaq. We're in this uh, strange consolidation, which is rather reminiscent of the uh, FTSE 100. Uh, just bounced off the or failed at the 10-day uh, moving average at 43.59 and we really need to see an end of day close back above that to give us the confidence that this market is heading higher. Initial target would then be the 200-day moving average at 44.16. Uh, support in general, uh, probably 42.32, which is March support, but uh, so far we've got this uh, uh, bit of a higher low uh, pattern here coming in, so that is, does give some encouragement to the uh, the bulls at the moment. On to the currencies and uh, the cable, it's been uh, more of the same, really. They sort of died a death a bit, uh, uh, these currencies over recent sessions, um, slipping below the 20-day moving average, which uh, rather gives us uh, an, the, the uh, hint that we're going to head back down to 143.15, which is the 50-day line, and possibly now down to uh, 142, which is the floor of this rising trend channel. Uh, RSI at 50, so neutral on that, so maybe if you're not already in position, you'd wait for um, either uh, a break below the one... The, 50-day moving average or uh, a re resumption of um, the uptrend which would be an end-of-day close back above the 10-day moving average at 145.16. So a bit in the middle there, uh, probably best to stand aside of cable at this stage. Going on to Euro-Dollar, uh, similar situation, rather becalmed uh, in a sort of summary type way. 113.52 is the 20-day moving average, really between that and the 10-day line, 114.19. Uh, wait for an end-of-day close outside those two parameters before making your trading decision. RSI at 53, so that does assume or hint that we should should break to the upside uh, through 114 and then up to 116 after that. Uh, for dollar-yen, um, this has been the dynamic situation in the recent past and continues to be so. Uh, recovery here in the air, and that was flagged by the Bullish divergence with this lower low not being matched by lower RSI readings at the beginning of the month. Uh, we've managed to get back above uh, the 10-day moving average at 107.77. And uh, while we're above that, I think there's a chance of uh, hitting the top of this trend channel from January at 110.72 over the next few sessions. 
Uh, on to gold as the last uh, major market today. And uh, here we've got a situation where uh, the, definitely a sort of near-term top has uh, materialized. Uh, 1284 was the old peak, and uh, we're well back below that now. Um, really, the, the idea was that there'll be some support coming into here for, in the 1260s, uh, but not maybe to push back uh, as much as, uh, as we have so far. Uh, end of day close above the 10 day moving average at 12.75 would be the buy trigger here, the first buy trigger here uh, to give this uh, market a chance of retesting 13.50, which is uh, the February resistance line projection. But at least while we're above uh, the 50 day average at 12.47, this market is a buy on dips if you've got deep enough pockets. That's it for me. More updates at the same time tomorrow.